it's Amber with Limit Valley Couponing and I got a quick little haul for you guys um unfortunately it wasn't like my best haul and my store I swear was out of like everything that I had on my list that I wanted to get so that was kind of frustrating but this is going to be kind of like part one of like part two or three because there is a few bonuses out so the first two expire on um, Sunday, May 5th, and that is the cashback bonus and then the Weekend Warrior bonus. And then there was a May Payday $10 bonus, which I needed 28 offers for. And so, and that expires the 13th. Yeah, that expires the 13th. And so it's gonna take me a few trips to the store to get all those things but I'll take you guys like every time I go to the store I'll try to um, make a video when I buy things and then there also was a let's see a boozy fiesta when you needed two offers of like a liquor purchase which I don't know um if I'll be able to do that I don't really buy alcohol um but I am going to this big party on Saturday is my friend's 30th birthday so maybe I could find some wine or something like that to take with me and plus get a bonus back with that so there's a lot of bonuses in the first week of May so I went to Walmart and um, like I said I didn't find too many things but I did find a couple of things so this is gonna be like part one of I'm thinking maybe a three-part um, tracking video so the first thing I got was Lucky Charms and so I went to the store actually yesterday and then I ran out of time and wasn't able to film yesterday so I'm filming um Friday morning but Lucky Charms had already gotten into and then also I got yogurt and most of the yogurts were eaten as well but um luckily the box is still intact and there's still some things in here and I can talk to you about this so this is 364 and then at Walmart on the General Mills products on the big family boxes, there were dollar peelies. And so I grabbed one and I got it off of a uh, Cheerio box, but I got it off of the Cheerio box and used it for the Lucky Charms. So this is $3.64, I used that dollar peely. I paid $2.64 out of pocket. And then I bought, I gave back a dollar, making a dollar sixty-four for this giant, um, let's see, it's 19, 19.3 ounces um, for this family size box of Lucky Charms. So yes, the kids were super excited and definitely got into that um, right away. Okay, next I did uh, Johnson's Baby Powder. So on coupons.com, there is a, um, there's actually two Johnson's coupons, 250 off of two or a dollar off of one. And so these powders are $1.92 each, so $3.84. I used that $2.50 um, coupon. I paid $1.34 out of pocket, but I bought us giving you a dollar back for each one of these, making it um, a 66 cent money maker on the baby powder. Now these sizes of baby powder is in the um, wasn't in the baby section. It was actually over by like the personal care section. So. Um, like mine is like it's right next to I think the toothpaste right next to the toothpaste and mouthwash is where um, other baby products are at, at my Walmart and then I did the GE appliance light bulb again so this is a dollar 24 and I paid that out of pocket but I bought it it's giving me back a dollar for it so it makes it just 24 cents so if you need a cheap little filler item um, check out your light bulb section and see what um, they have to offer because that's a good little deal okay as I said earlier um my yogurts kind of got uh eaten so this deal was by six of them so they're 66 cents each I bought six of them so that's three dollars and sixty cents but then uh coupons.com had a 50 cent coupon when you buy five of them I know it's not like super good but still that's a coupon. And so it came down to $3.10 at a pocket. I bought it has a dollar back when you buy six. And then Saving Star had 
50 cents back when you buy five, making a dollar sixty for all six of them, or about 27 cents, 27, 26 cents um, a piece. On ice trays, this is something new for me. Uh, so Rubbermaid has a rebate back on um, Ibotta. So for summer, it was like their summer line, summer products or something like that. And the ice tray qualifies. So this is $1.97. You paid that $1.97 on pocket. And then you get back a dollar from Ibotta, making it just $0.97 cents for this ice tray. My store didn't have that many um, like plastic section, like plastic trays or um, pictures or anything like that. Like it really was a very small selection. So I was really surprised that I actually found the ice tray. So check, maybe if you guys have a bigger Walmart, my Walmart's pretty um, just like small town um, Walmart. Like we just got a refrigerated section, like maybe five seven years ago I mean before we had like one that had like milk eggs ice cream and a very small selection of that and now I mean we have like four four rows of it but still a very small selection all right so that was it for I bought it like I said it wasn't um it wasn't a super great I bought a haul for me I was really struggling things that I normally like my go-to items that's been on there um like licorice or the right guard um, my store was out of but I also got a few things on checkout 51 and saving star so I got this um, Kleenex um, three pack these are 97 cents each so I paid $1.94 but checkout 51 has two dollars back and the checkout 51 um, says buy two Kleenex bundle packs valid on two count or higher so these are three count and they definitely work on it uh super good deal on these because it makes it a uh just completely free plus a six cent money maker and then lastly i was kind of excited about this because i've never i've been wanting to try these and i've never got the coupons before in my insert which i can't remember if it was the i think it was a retail me not that came out this last weekend but um it never comes in mine. It's a regional um, coupon. And so but if you go to redplum.com, you could definitely print out this coupon. So this is $5.94. Print out a $3 coupon from redplum.com. Pay $2.94 out of pocket. And then Saving Star has a $3 back on this, making it free plus a six cent money maker. That's all that I got. Um not super great I paid $15.17 out of pocket for this I bought it I got back $6.20 and that's including a um, 20 cent any receipt item saving star I got back $3.50 and check out 51 I got back $2 and then I submitted my receipt to fetch rewards and things like the Kleenex I got points back on those um but no like special bonuses on um fetch rewards this week but still, I always submit my receipts to Fetch Rewards because all the points add up. And then when Christmas comes along, you could cash in and get gift cards. Or, um, like, what I like to do is I'll cash in and get, like, a $10 Domino's card. Although my last experience with Domino's wasn't super good. If you saw my Easter um, video, there was a little mishap. Um, but anyway, back to this. It was um, after all my rebates. It came down to $3.47, so about $0.25 cents an item. I know it's not super good. I like to go for those free hauls. But like I said, this is a part one of, um, I think, probably going to be three-part video. Trying to get to that $10 May payday bonus. Plus, I'm going to go either tomorrow morning or Sunday morning and try to finish the weekend bonuses. And then after all that, I'll include all my trips up and see how it is. But yeah, so just quick little video. 
stay tuned to um, the rest of the videos coming. And if you haven't already got um, the apps that I've talked about, check out 51, Saving Star, Ibotta, Fetch Rewards. Um, all that information is in my description box and there's links there so you can click on those links. It'll take you um, to your app store and you can download them. Sign up with my codes and you'll get uh, sign up bonuses. Definitely love them. Check out 51, Saving Star, Fetch Rewards. They're not as fast paced as Ibotta but they're definitely um, a must have because you could stack your things together and get additional money. Like with the yogurt where I got 50 cents from Saving Star and a dollar from Ibotta. It's definitely um, worth it. If you have the space on your phone, just go ahead and download those apps. And I'm going to go try to find some good deals. I'm kind of struggling this week with finding some super good deals. But don't worry, I'm going to keep an eye out and keep looking at things for you guys. But that is it for me today. And I'll see you guys later.